I got something special. My extra special moldy slider buns. Now, check this out. This is the best mold that I could find, right? I had to cultivate this for you. So today, we're going to figure out, is it safe to eat mold? You are now tuned into the Filthy Parent Podcast. It's got to be safe, right? I mean, it's in all kinds of stuff. You got mold in uh, soy sauce. You got mold in penicillin. Uh, what else you got mold in cheese? Uh, you know, things like that. So, I mean, we got mold on slider buns. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is we're going to see if it's safe to eat the mold or we're going to die. I mean, think about this. If I'm sitting here making the best sandwich of my life, I got all the cheese, I got all the meats, and I got everything stacked up with romaine lettuce, and then all of a sudden you're telling me I can't eat this because I got a little bit of green on my bread? Hmm. mess with this right here. Ooh, that looks good. What you think? Good one? Nice little slider bone. Like a slider bomb bomb. Pretty good. It's pretty tasteless, but I'm pretty good. I mean, I haven't had a piece of gum like this in a long time. This is like the craziest gum ever. It's like one of those little yellow and blue pieces of gum that you get from Halloween. It's like, <laughs> it's a huge piece of gum. Like, who needs a piece of gum this big? I mean, I don't. It's kind of big, but you get you on it for a long time, I'm sure. But I'm not really interested in the gum. Oh, you guys still here for the mold? Man. You really thought I was going to eat the mold? Come on, man. This is a parenting channel. What do I look like eating mold? My kids might see it. Then what? Then they show their friends, and they show their friends, and it's a whole thing. I'm not eating mold, man. There's no way. The CDC and several other websites that you saw me search actually say it may or may not be safe to eat the mold. So apparently there is some deadly molds. You know, these mold spores might kill you and might not. There's some that will uh, make you really sick. There's some that are healthy molds, things like that. But you really can't tell which ones are healthy and which ones aren't. The other thing you can't tell is if you actually have mold on your food. So if you have a loaf of bread uh, and basically you have one bit of mold on one slice of bread, the entire loaf is bad. Don't try to eat it, dude, because what happens is there's mold spores, you know, just kind of hanging out in all of the bread. You can't see it. So there's people that have died just by eating slices of bread that were, you know, in the same loaf with other bad slices with mold. So yeah, don't do it. You might die. So yeah, I'm not messing with it. If I see any, any mold on anything, I'm tossing it out. I'm not scraping it off and making a sandwich or putting it in the toaster or otherwise. I, I didn't eat the mold. Not happening. But guess what? I did get this new Instant Pot right here. So I'm gonna make all kinds of Instant Pot recipes and stuff. Everybody knows how to use an Instant Pot, right? But if you don't, I'll show you how. And I'm gonna show you all kind of recipes that you can make on the fly, pretty much within 30 minutes. Everybody has these sports teams and now the dance and everything else they have to do for the children, but guess what? They still gotta eat, man. I mean, if you're like me, you definitely don't want your kids you know, eating out every day. So um, Instant Pot, dude, is like the best thing going. Instant Pot, I prefer Instant Pot, but um, anyway, hey, make sure you like, subscribe, share, and then uh, watch out for these Instant Pot recipes and all the rest of the parenting advice that's gonna come down. So, I'll see you next time. Now that we're drinking buddies, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this podcast with fellow parents or your teenager's babysitter. I love this. I love this. Follow us on IG, Facebook, and YouTube. And email us at daddymyway at gmail.com.